genetically. I do think that people imitate their atmosphere. Hello, this is Pej. I'm an interventionist. I help people with addiction, alcoholism, and mental health. Today, uh, Mel, who does a lot of filming for me, had a question, and I thought it would be great to make a video about it. So go ahead, Mel. Hey, Pej, quick question. So are people born with addiction? It's a very hot topic. I mean, are people born with addiction or alcoholism? Um, you know, obviously, I don't think a baby just comes out and is automatically an alcoholic or an addict. Um, a lot of things happen in people's lives and kids' lives as they're growing up. Um, they're influenced by a lot of things. I do not think that people are born with an alcoholic gene because somebody else happened to be an alcoholic in their family. Although there have been tests, um, a lot of data that may say differently. Uh, I don't think that people are automatically born as an addict or a drug addict. I think that um, in everyday life, a lot of humanity, especially these days in this digital age, can become addicted to lots of different things, which then the addictions that they have can transfer into other addictions. So me personally, like if I look at who I was and where I was growing up, up. Uh, yes, I became addicted to certain types of drugs, but as being a Persian boy here in America, being surrounded by people that were experimenting with methamphetamines, some with heroin and some with hallucinogens, let alone the typical weed and alcohol, yeah, I mean, if, when I have, see other people around me doing it, um, I'm going to follow suit if that's something that I want to do. Some people will resist, some people do not want to do it, and so they may not turn into full-blown addicts or alcoholics, as opposed to me, who, because of uh, certain traumas, certain events that happened for me, um, I would then go out and use that stuff and it would make me feel good so I can deal with whatever trauma I had. I could mask my emotions, I could numb my pain and um, and make a great excuse for me, me to be able to use this stuff, but it didn't mean that I was born an addict. It just meant that um, I had become an addict and I had become an alcoholic. And I know there's a lot of people that are totally against labeling people as addicts. Um, some people say call them people that have uh, problems with uh, with addiction, problems with uh, substances. Um, but in reality, when I'm addicted, when I'm in a full-blown addiction, like I'm an addict, I'm addicted to it. At least that's the type of terminology I use. So no, I don't think that people are actually born with this. Um, genetically, I do think that people imitate their atmosphere depending on where they're growing up, how they're growing up, who's around, who influences them the most, um, what kind of people they're playing with as kids, what kind of people they're hanging out with as teenagers, what kind of people they're, they're hanging out with in young adulthood and in old adulthood. I think a lot of people, um, you know, in order to have a good time recreationally, will do certain types of substances, sometimes maybe smoke a little bit of weed at a dinner party, as well as have some wine or drinks or things like that. And then there's some people that like to absolutely get smashed and, and annihilated, and they'll drink and drink and they'll seek out other stuff too. And, um, um, they act alcoholically, but it doesn't mean that they were actually um, born an alcoholic or an addict. If you are somebody that you know is suffering or struggling with addiction or alcoholism, you can always call me at 310-596-9356.